This is a magnetic field read switch. It's basically a switch that is open, but when there is a magnet field, it gets closed. It's, you can see this glass case with two tiny metal inside. And if it's hard to see on the camera, I did draw a bigger uh, size here on the paper just to explain how it works. So I have this outer glass case. Obviously, you don't want a metal case because that can interfere with the magnet. So you have a glass case. These two um, wires, let's say, that they have a gap in between. And when there is a magnet nearby or there is enough magnetic field, they connect. So it's an open switch that is gets closed when there is a magnet nearby. So you can read the two end and it's an open switch. There is no magnet nearby. If I bring a magnet close, then it automatically closes the circle. I believe there is a lot of good use cases for this. And in the future, I will be making a project with this. But for now, let me show you how it works. I have one here on the breadboard. This is just my power supply. So I'm going to turn that on. And as you can see here, I have an LED. And I have the switch or the magnetic read switch. This is just the power. And I have an LED to demo how this works. Now I have these magnets, which I will bring close to the switch. As you can see, when I get closer to the switch, the LED turns on. And if I pull the magnet away, as I get further, it turns off. So when I get close enough, then I have a magnet field. And whenever those two metals inside the glass casing connect, that's when I get the signal. And it doesn't matter which direction the magnet is, so I can easily turn this on the other way, and that would still work just fine. Same if I do it from the other side. So if I'm going from this side, let's say, and as you can see, as I get close, you can see the LEDs start to pick it up. And then as I get closer, sometimes then you get full connection. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'm, I can think of a lot of use cases for this, like, for example, uh, a door alarm or like a window open sensor. Uh, there are so many things I can think about, but for this video, just wanted to show you how it works and what it is. And in the future, I'm sure I will have a project using this. Um, this is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.